The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Chapter number 1, text number 8. Given by His Grace, Sriman Sankarshan Dasatikari. Recorded on June 26, 2008. In Miraflores, Peru. Tonight we are reading from Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Chapter number 1, text number 8. To create an auspicious atmosphere, everyone can repeat after me this transcendental chant. Say it with great enthusiasm. Mucho gusto. <laughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Bhavan Vishmascha Karnascha. Kripascha Samiktin Jaya. Ashvatama Vikarnascha. Samadatista Taivacha. Translation in purport by His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. And there are great personalities like you, Bhishma, Karna, Kripa, Ashvatama, Vikarna, and the sum of Samadatta called Buddhishrava, who are always victorious in battle. Purport. Duryodhan mentions the exceptional heroes in the battle, all of whom were ever victorious. Vikarna is the brother of Duryodhan, Ashvatama is the son of Dronacharya and Samadatti, or Varishrava is the son of the king of the Balikas. Karna is the half-brother of Arjuna, as he was born of Kunti before him, marriage with king Pandu. Kripacharya's twin sister married Dronacharya. Vande ho Shri Guru Shri Jata Barakamala Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupa Sagrajata Sahagana Raguna Tanvita Tam Sajiva Sadaita Zavaduta Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitam So what is the point of this message? Here is a great battle 5,000 years ago, Battle of Kurukshetra. Mm-hmm. Arjuna, who is the great devotee of the Lord, he is facing very formidable obstacles. 
great powerful enemies are facing him in battle. <coughs> Undefeatable enemies are facing him in battle. But yet, by the grace of God, by the grace of Krishna, Arjuna was able to defeat all these undefeatable soldiers on the battlefield. So the point is, if you take complete shelter of God like Arjuna took shelter of God, then you will be undefeatable. Wherever there is the power of God, No one ever meets with defeat. So the question is, if taking shelter of God is such a wonderful opportunity, that it makes you undefeatable, then why people don't do it? I mean, everybody would like to be undefeatable, wouldn't they? You would like to be undefeatable, wouldn't you? Yes? You would like to be undefeatable, would you? Wouldn't you? Huh? What did he say? Yes, I would, the lecture will explain that, yes. So, why we don't surrender to God then? What's holding us back? We remain defeated because we do not surrender to God. We remain defeated by Satan or the material nature because we do not surrender to God. So this nice gentleman here, <coughs> he has raised a very important question. What do I mean by undefeatable? In this material world, uh, there are four main enemies. And these enemies are defeating us. In Sanskrit we say Janma Mrityu Jaravyadi, in English birth, death, old age and disease, and in Espanol we say birth, death, old age and disease. We are being defeated by them, you see. Even if you don't want to be born, it's packed inside the mother's womb. You are forced by nature to be packed inside the mother's womb, even though it is very uncomfortable. And when you come out, you have to get sick. Who wants to get sick? Enfermo. Does, any, does anyone want to become enfermo? So sick? No. No. How about becoming old? Does anyone want to become an old man who's hard of hearing like me? <laughs> 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 
No one wants to become old. No one wants to become sick. <laughs> Would anybody like to volunteer to die tonight? How about death? Anybody like to die? No, we avoid death, you see. So we're being tortured by these four miseries. Birth, birth, death, old age, and disease. But to Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Consciousness, la conciencia de Krishna. You see, you can learn how to defeat all of these things. No birth, no, nacimiento, no sickness, no, no old age, no viajes, and no death. You see. <clears throat> so how do you do that? How do you accomplish it? By awakening your original spiritual identity. At the present moment, I am thinking I am this body. Soy hombre. Soy mujer. You see, we are identifying with this flesh and blood. Cuerpo. We think the self and the cuerpo are they are one and the same. But the cuerpo, the body, it is just a garment. That's all. Just like this chatter you see, it is garment. So I'm wearing this this ropa, this chatter, and I can take it off also, you see. I'm still the same person with or without this ropa, you see, this garment. So your body is also ropa. Right now you're wearing a black body. You're wearing a brown body, you see. I'm wearing a white body. You're wearing a woman's body, <coughs> you see. You're wearing a, <coughs> a man's body, you see. These are simply ropa, simply garments, that's all. You are not the body. This is the first lesson on the pathway of spiritual perfection. You have to understand, no soy cuerpo. I'm not this body. So, we have some sense of identity that I do exist. So since we've denied the body as the self, what is the actual self then? That is the question. <laughs> this question was answered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In his teachings to Srila Rupa Goswami, the very first thing that Lord Chaitanya told Rupa Goswami, I mean, excuse me, Sanatan Goswami. Yes. The very first lesson, primero lesión, lesión, was, Jivera Sarupa Hai Krishnera Nichidav. The constitutional position of the living being is that he is, he is the eternal servant of Krishna. Chaitanya era que 
que el entidad viviente es uh, eterno sirviente de Krishna, de Dios. So each and every one of you in this room here tonight is an eternal servant of Krishna. Or God. When we say Krishna, we are talking about Dios, God. You may say, what is the difference between Hare Krishna and Catholic Church? Because we all worship the Supreme God. Here's the difference. We know God's name. And they don't? Simple as that. We know who, what is God's name, Krishna. Just like here, you have a president, huh? President? What is his name? Alan Garcia. So, <clears throat> someone may know there is a president. That is very good. But if someone knows the name of the president, he has more knowledge, you see. So, the Catholic Church, it is very good. They know that there is a, a president of the whole existence, you see. That Hare Krishna is better because we know the name of the president. <laughs> we have a more close connection. Some people, I don't know the custom here, but in the USA, we have a president also, Bush. And if you have a very formal relationship, you, you call him Mr. President. But if you have a very close relationship, you call him George. The common man cannot call him George. Jorge. Huh? Yeah. Jorge. Jorge. Yeah. A common man cannot call him George or he. It would be considered offense. The common man has to call him Mr. President. So similarly, if one does not have very close relationship, they just call him Dios, you see. But if you have close relationship, you have intimate connection with that supreme person. Then you call him Krishna. So, if you want to become close with God, if you want to be able to go to his house where he lives and visit him as a, as a close friend or as a family member, then you should call the name Krishna. So, how do you call the name Krishna? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Again, repeat that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Repeat that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare So by this chanting of Hare Krishna Mantra, then one becomes an intimate associate of God. He will give you personal invitation to His kingdom. He will invite you to His own village. 
He'll invite you to his own house. You can sit with him, you can speak with him, you can see him. In fact, if you become very pure in your chanting of Hare Krishna, Krishna will come to Lima also to visit you. He will come to see you in Lima. He has the power, he can appear whatever he likes, you see. Krishna will personally come and reveal himself and he will speak with you also. If you become very, very mature in serving Him, become completely surrendered to carrying out His orders, then Prabhupada says He will personally come to see you and talk with you. So this is the greatest Krishna, this is the greatest spiritual movement in the whole world. In todo el mundo is a primero movimiento espiritual. Hare Krishna movement. So we're very, very happy that all of you are coming here to participate or at least to find out. You're, you're just coming to learn the first time. Observing. Very good. We welcome you. You can come and observe us as much as you like. Yes, you feel have welcome. Will you come and observe to your full satisfaction. Yeah. Um, by this, this is my wife here, Vishnu Priya Devi Dasi. She and I are traveling all over the world to share this wonderful process of Krishna Bhakti with everyone. We see how the whole world is suffering without Krishna consciousness. Even in the wealthy, rich countries like America, Germany, UK, the people are so miserable, you see, because they don't have Krishna consciousness. We also see, also see here in Lima, the people are miserable without Krishna consciousness. So we have come here to Lima to share with the people of Lima this most wonderful process known as Krishna Consciencia de Krishna. By which you can defeat birth, death, old age and disease. By reviving <coughs> your cuerpo espiritual. <coughs> right now, beneath your cuerpo material, inside of your cuerpo material, there is a cuerpo espiritual. <coughs> your cuerpo is spiritual is simply covered by the cuerpo material. So all you have to do is stop identifying with the cuerpo material and identify with the cuerpo espiritual. And then you become completely beyond the, the birth, death, old age and disease. Uh, 
And when your material body falls falls off at the time of death, you will travel to the spiritual world, the spiritual mundo. And you will enjoy an eternal life full of knowledge and full of bliss. In the personal association of Krishna, in all of his wonderful, wonderful devotees, you won't have to take birth again in this material world. And even while you're here preparing yourself for that journey, you will taste the sweetest happiness. So we're very happy you've come. Now we'd like to ask if I preguntas. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Cantar uh, Ram también uh, because Ram is also a name for Krishna. Rama or Ram means the supreme enjoyer. So it is also a name for Krishna, for God, the supreme person. We have not invented this mantra. This is an ancient mantra. It is given in the Gali Santarana Upanishad. In that ancient Vedic text, it's ancient Vedic texto. It is stated in this age, materialistic age of Kali, there is no better mantra for awakening one's spiritual consciousness than Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So it is not our invention. The great sages have passed down this powerful, powerful mantra to us. Hare is the energy of God. Krishna and Ram are both names for God. So we are invoking the mercy of the energy of God and of God himself that we can be engaged in their service. I have been chanting this mantra every day since 1971. When I was a young 22-year-old boy, I started chanting Hare Krishna. Now I'm a 60-year-old man. But the more I chant, I feel younger and younger and younger. <laughs> Even though the body is aging, my consciousness is feeling more and more young every day. <clears throat> there was that Spanish explorer, his name was Panse de Leon. He was looking here in the Western Hemisphere for the fountain of youth. Panza de Leon, he was looking for what, is, what was known as the fountain of youth, like a water fountain, fountain of youth. He is very famous Spanish explorer, Panza de Leon. But he never found, he died, never having found the fountain of youth, you see. 
But I have discovered the fountain of youth. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. And therefore I'm spreading it, Maharaji and I, we're spreading it all over the world, wherever we go. We chant, we encourage everyone to chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Do you have any other questions? I for Guntas Mas? I'm asking him. He is observing, especially you want to give him a chance. But you're next. I don't want to take all the questions. You can have one more if you have it. Is the Ram that you speak of the same Ram from the Mahabharata? <clears throat> that. Yeah, go. The Ram in the Mahamantra can be taken as a name for Krishna. It can also be understood as Ram in the Mahabharata. There is another also in the, there is Parasaram and there is also Lord um, Balaram. So it has four different meanings. Ra- yeah, yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It can be taken as that Ram, yes. All of these different Rams, they are all expansions of Krishna. He is the original personality of Godhead. The Ram in the Bhagavata in the in the in the Ramayan, he is an expansion of Krishna. He is the same person, Krishna, but he is taking in a different mood. And with Krishna, he is showing how to be the ideal husband. As Lord Ram, the Supreme Person shows us how to become the ideal husband by taking, be very dedicated to his wife. All right, now it's your turn. In the página que usted dirige el pensamiento del día, utiliza siempre el término regreso a casa. ¿Es acaso que nosotros venimos de un mundo espiritual? In your website, uh, you are um, using the word back to God. Sí. Back, back to God. And uh, um, Andres uh, mm-hmm. wanted to ask you if, uh, if I mean, um, if you mean uh, our uh, eternal house. Uh, Back to Godhead? Back to home. Regresa, regresa a casa. Yeah. Regresa a casa or back to home, back to home, both. So that means, back to your original, it means you regain your original spiritual identity in the spiritual world. Do you think Lima is your home? Yeah. You are simply passing through Lima, that's You are only a traveler in this world, you see. We are all originally from the kingdom of God. And now we are simply traveling in this world, that's all. So when you finish your travels, then you go, where do you go? You go back to your home. So we're saying you've been traveling long enough. (laughs) For millions of lifetimes you've been traveling away from home. And now you're feeling great difficulty, you see. But if you simply go back to your home, then all your difficulties will be finished immediately, immediately finished, you see. So therefore we're inviting everyone, come back home. What is it? Regresa a su casa.
y sumergirnos en el océano de la espiritualidad. ¿Eso qué? Sumergirnos en el, ah. en el océano de la espiritualidad. Ah. Eso también utiliza mucho ese término. Que sumerge en el océano de la espiritualidad. ¿Ah? Sumergirnos en, en el océano de la espiritualidad. The spiritual ocean of bliss is waiting for you to dump, jump in and dive. And there's an ocean of spiritual bliss awaiting you right now. That ocean is awaiting you. You simply have to jump in. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. And you can swim forever in bliss, you see. The ocean of bliss. How do you say ocean? Ocean? Oceano. Oceano de Feliz. Huh? Yes, Oceano de Feliz. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare. Es muy, 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 muy bonísimo, Señor. <laughs> okay, next question. Yeah. When you go back to the spiritual world, you don't have to worry that they will, you will be handcuffed. You will not be tied up as a prisoner when you go back there. Now you are handcuffed by Maya. You see, you are the prisoner of Maya in this material world, you see. When you become liberated from this prison of material existence and you return to your original home, no one will take you as prisoner there. You're free to come and go as you like. You're totally free. But I can tell you, I can tell you one thing for sure. You will like it so much there... You, you would never want to come back here. <laughs> Unless you came on a mission to preach and help other people to go back. Sometimes the great personalities come from the spiritual world to save others, you see. Like Prabhupada or Lord Jesus, you see. They, even though they don't have to come here, they come here out of kindness upon us. To save us from this horrible existence in the cycle of birth and death. más? Yes. In the beginning? Yes, why? If it's so wonderful there, why do we make the stupid mistake, stupido mistake, to come here to begin with? You see? In English language, I don't know if you have this saying in Espanol, but in English there's a saying, curiosity killed the cat. Do you have that saying in Spanish? Yes. Yes, you were cur you were thinking, you no, know, here I am, I am serving God, it's very nice. 
What it would be like if I was the center instead of Krishna? What would it be like if I was the center of the existence? And you became very, very curious to understand what it would be like if I was the center of existence. And then you became, then you wanted, you started desiring it. Oh, I would like to be the center of existence. If you, in the Bible, there is what is known as the forbidden fruit. In the Garden of Eden, there was the forbidden fruit. So do you know what is the forbidden fruit? That you are the center of existence. That is the forbidden fruit. So you became curious to taste that forbidden fruit. What would it be like if I was the center of existence? And you became too much, mucho curioso, you see, mucho curiosísimo. And, and then one day you bit the fruit. And you were driven out of the Garden of Eden into this material world, you see. Where you can think that you are the center of existence, that everything revolves around you. But now, Madhaji, you are very fortunate. We have realized what a stupid mistake that was. To think that you are the center of the universe. And now you're trying to rectify your mistake, you see. Now you are bowing down to Krishna, that yes, my dear Lord, you are the center of the universe, not me. So in this way you're able to recover from your stupid mistake that you made. Sabe? You understand? Okay. Bueno. Okay, any other questions? Yes. Yes, yes. There are many different types of travel. <clears throat> there is travel by machine, just like I have come on land. I was in the Fiji Islands and we flew. Um, from, from actually we flew from Auckland to, to Santiago and Santiago to Lima on LAN airline <laughs> that is one means of travel 
There is also a system where you can travel that being flown by pigeons. And there is also traveling by mantra. So there are many different types of travel and there's also of course you can travel in your astral body, astral travel. And you can travel in your spiritual body. There are also Vaikuntha airplanes that will, if you become qualified, one will come here to Lima, it will pick you up and it will take you back to the spiritual world. There are also airplanes that have, could come here and take you to the heavenly planets as well. So there's many different means of travel. Uh, Narada Muni, he travels just by desiring to be in a different place. He just, he just appears, boom, like that. He can be wherever he wants, boom, just manifest himself there. What is he? The yogis, they can travel, a yogi, he can travel on the rays of the sun. He can be here on the earth and he can just, he can immediately be on the sun planet without burning his, without being burned and stay cool. He can travel on the rays of the sun to the sun planet very quickly by yogic power. And he, he can also travel through the rivers also. He can sit on the bank of a, a sacred river in one place and he can dump, he can, he can enter into that river and immediately appear 2,000 miles away and somewhere else in the river instantly. So there are many types of travel. And we are also teaching you how, you, how to do what is known as soul travel, you see. Soul travel, a spiritual travel. We are inviting you all to fly on Hare Krishna Airlines. How do you say airlines? Avion. Aradinya. 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 We're inviting you to fly Hare Krishna Airline. <laughs> <laughs> and the spiritual master, he is ticket agent. He is your friendly travel agent. Yes. Would you like to purchase a ticket to for mantra travel? I am selling tickets for flying on Hare Krishna Airlines. <laughs> it is a mantra airplane. The flights are taking off regularly. <laughs> for the spiritual world. Can you afford the ticket? Can you pay the price for the ticket? Do you, uh, do you know what is the price for the ticket? I'm asking you. No, 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 no. There is one yogi who teaches his disciples how to levitate one foot off the ground. He charges them $10,000 to, to levitate one foot off the ground, you see. 
and they bounce up and down a little bit. See. <laughs> but we are giving you for the mere price of shraddha, faith. We don't need your pain, we don't need your suffering. All we ask for is you give us your faith. For the price of faith, we will give you a mantra that will take you beyond the coverings of this material universe. In your spiritual body, you will leave. But you will you will leave behind your gross body. You will leave behind your astral body also. The material body, the material cuerpo and the astral cuerpo, they are both coverings only. They are only coverings. They are not the real self. So if you, if you will give me the price of faith, I will give you a ticket how to fly in your spiritual body. Are you willing to give me your faith? Will you give? All right. Now I will give you this mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. If you chant it with love, you will fly in your spiritual body back to the spiritual sky. All right, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. I have to trans. She has to translate it so I know what you're saying. Give her some time to translate it. Just one line at a time. Then to translate. Speak up so oh. my she can also hear. Oh, okay. But um, uh, she said that um, you mentioned uh, in, in, a lecture, in, in, a, in, in the lecture that um, uh, the name Krishna is uh, the, is the best. Uh, is, 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 the, uh, is the best name of, of, uh, of the most intimate name of God is Krishna. That's yeah. right. Yeah, and uh, she asks that uh, all religions it's the same thing. No, all religions don't say the same thing. And no, no, no. Uh, she meant that, uh, uh, for example, um, witnesses of uh, Yivova said yeah, that yeah. Uh, the best name of, for, of God is Yivova and, uh, and so on. So yeah, yeah. No, no, if they say their name is best, that's all right. But yet the Bible says in the book of John, Christ says, I have more to tell you, but you're not ready to hear it yet. <laughs> the Bible directly states that there is something more beyond the Bible. But Bhagavad Gita says there is no higher knowledge than this. We agree, any name of God is the best name. We, we do not argue with Him. Uh, 
no, no estamos discutiendo eso. They, we, we accept that Jehovah is the best name. We have no problem. We accept that Allah is the best name. We have no problem. But Krishna is the best of the best. Okay, Vishnu Priya Maharaji. Vishnu Priya Maharaji. Not what? Not the killer of the animal. Yes, the yes, yes. So Vishnu Priya Maharaji has made very nice point <laughs> that, all right, Allah is the best, Jehovah is the best, we have no problem, but stop being an animal killer. If you truly love God, you will also love His creatures also. You will not kill and eat them. So we have no objection to say Jehovah is the best name. We have no problem. So why are you killing and eating the children of Jehovah? Why are you killing and eating the children of Allah? We have no objection. Allah is the best, Jehovah is the best. They are all names of Krishna. We have no objection. They are all the best. But how you can eat your own brothers and sisters? Is that love? We challenge these rascals. How you can do this this heinous, this horrible sin of eating your own brothers and sisters? Yeah. Why are we vegetarian? What if they are vegetarians? Huh? Uh, we are not. Why are we vegetarian? Why are they not? Why they are vegetarian? They are okay. I mean, uh, uh, he means, what if they are vegetarian? Huh? What if they are vegetarian? What? Oh, if they are vegetarian, and they chant the name of God, then it's very good. Yes. There are some Christian monks who have a monastery in California and they, ch- they chant the name of Jesus and they're vegetarian and they very much like Hare Krishna movement. They come and visit us. They like us very much. They feel right at home when they come to the temple. They are vegetarian and they are very good. Yeah, very good, yes. But it's very difficult to find a vegetarian Christian monk, you see. Very, very rare. There are some, and they're very good. They're very pious men, yes. We respect them very much, yes. Mm. So being vegetarian is not enough. You have to offer the food, to, you have to first offer your vegetarian food to Krishna. Or God before you eat. Otherwise you are eating lumps of sin. So they must learn how to, even if they're vegetarian, they must first offer their food to God before eating. Entonces, uh, si son que 
because vegetables also have life. And there is sin even in eating vegetables. Like a carrot, he is alive. A carrot. You can put him in a cup of water and he'll grow. Then you, you feel him and cut him, you're murdering a living entity. Carrot murderer. <laughs> yes, so you must first offer your vegetables to God before eating, and that will relieve you of the sin. But Krishna prescribes we cannot only from vegetarian kingdom, fruits, vegetables, dairy products and grains, only from that category can we offer the foods to him. Not other this meat, flesh and, meat, flesh and, meat fish and eggs category. So everybody is satisfied now, maybe you're getting a little hungry. Is there some pashadam for everyone? Yeah. yeah. Is there one last question before the pashadam? Okay. Okay, every time she eats fish she feels guilty. She's been practicing for two months. Every time she eats the fish she feels guilty. She must have known how to give up fish, right? Yeah, and uh, she'd, like, uh, she'd like to receive this kind of uh, advice from you how uh, she can... She wants advice how to give up fish. Do you cook your own vegetarian food at home? You don't cook at home? Do you live by yourself? Or do you live with a family of meat eaters? All the families are meat eaters. Oh, Krishna, Krishna. Karane. Yeah. Muy difícil. Well, you have to. Um, do you? The, your mother does the cooking. Huh? Meat. Uh, I've seen Latinos. They're very fond of meat. Very fond of meat. We shop at, you know, I know in Texas we go to the grocery store. Latinos, they, 
they get big uh, tortilla and carne. They fill up their grocery bag with tor their tortillas and with meat, big, huge chunks of meat. Oh. It's like here. Do you do the bullfighting also in here? Bullfighting? It's very big sport here, bullfight, huh? It's a horrible... They, not in Peru? Oh, that's good. In Spain and Mexico, they, the bullfight, they celebrate, they, they probably kill the bull and they applaud when the bull is murdered. They do it in Argentina and Peru also, bullfighting? It's a horrible thing. It's a very horrible mentality. This, the Spanish world, it's a very bad mentality, wanting to kill the bull. Oh, very good, the bull has been murdered. Very good. It's a horrible thing. Horrible, horrible thing. You have to... We have a restaurant here. Do you eat at Govinda's? You need to eat here more often, then you'll forget about fish. He is? He is vegetarian. He is, okay. Why not? All right, so... Question? Question? Juan Carlos? Behind you, there's a, he raised his hand behind you. Hare Krishna will solve all the, Hare Krishna movement will solve all the problems of the world the crime problem the terrorism problem pollution problem petroleum problem Every single problem of the world will be solved if we put Krishna back in the center. This is a movimiento revolucionaria, revolutionary, revolutionario. Yes, movimiento revolucionario. You see, it will solve all the problems of the world. It will solve all of the problems of the world. Every single problem will be solved by Krishna consciousness. So there is no greater welfare work than preaching. Especially distributing Prabhupada's books. That is the greatest welfare work. Those devotees who dedicate themselves for book distribution, they are the greatest heroes of Prabhupada's movement. So we are very appreciative that you are distributing Prabhupada's books. Thank you very much. I kindly flood this country with more and more and more and more of Prabhupada's books. Uh, 
That's why that's why you're doing the greatest service for the people of the of uh, the world. You are solving all of their problems just by this book distribution. All right then, so will everybody enjoy their prasadam? And uh, we thank you very much for so kindly coming here to hear these messages of Krishna. I, since you, I see that you speak English and I have an e-course on the internet. Would you like to see how to sign up for my free e-course? Yes. Here, take my card. Hare Krishna. Huh? You speak English? I only have a few cards left. You speak English? Mrs. If you speak Spanish, you go to Regreso a Casa. Regreso a Casa? Yeah. Regrasoacasa.com Same thing in Spanish. This is the English one. Yeah. Okay, so Chila Prabhupada Ki Jai Srimad Bhagavad Gita Ki Jai